Hello, Katie here, resident paleontology expert for the Museum of Science. And today, I'm going to completely demolish what you thought you knew about dinosaurs. You see, no matter who you are, you probably know these two basic facts. Dinosaurs are big, and dinosaurs are dead. Everyone got that? Good. Now forget you ever knew those things. I'm about to introduce you to a dinosaur who isn't very big at all, and certainly isn't dead. Believe it or not, this is a dinosaur. You see, despite what's commonly taught, dinosaurs are still alive, and they're doing pretty well for themselves. One branch of their family tree survived the Cretaceous extinction, and that's the branch we call birds, or avian dinosaurs. In all likelihood, You've seen a dinosaur outside already today. Maybe you've got a pet dinosaur at home. You've probably even eaten a dinosaur before. Shh, you didn't hear that. Much like whales are a really bizarre subset of the animal category, mammals. Birds are a subset of the animal category, dinosaurs. To belong to a particular animal group, you need a certain set of inherited characteristics that only fit that group. In science, we call those synapomorphies. And guess who has the dinosaur ones? Yep, this guy. What this means is that if we want to learn more about dead dinosaurs, like this big fellow, and our own fossil triceratops, Cliff, then we need to embrace the fact that we have living dinosaurs to learn from today. Besides, the world is just a cooler place when you know you're surrounded by actual, live dinosaurs. Who's a cute little dinosaur? Yes, you are. Yes, you are.